Oh, welcome back my uh, gardening friends. Well, I just wanted to share something with you. Uh, we show the good, we show the bad, we show everything on this channel. And these are my uh, broad beans that Marie uh, Curry uh, sent me, the crimson flowered ones. And you can see there, some have chitted nicely, some are just uh, kicking off. And uh, in the, t oh, the title of the video, you know what it's about. Uh, I haven't had a chance to plant these yet, but the uh, Bunyards Exhibition Broad Beans that I interplanted with the Swedes, so as we take the Swedes out, it'll give them more room. And uh, we don't seem to be uh, having uh, any issues here. Uh, these at this end, there were just the seeds, but there's no signs of any activity unlike the field beans the green manure which we also chitted but some of the seeds didn't uh, do um, uh, very well but there you can see a leaf <laughs> that's the pea that we found this is the permanent bean pea bed and I came up to the allotment <coughs> yesterday And there we have it. That isn't a bean, I don't think that's a stone. But you can see all the holes. Now, they've taken the shoot off that one and looks like they've started to scratch it out. It looks like we've had a drop of rain since but there you go <coughs> they've left the roots and uh, took the bean there's the uh, the shell there's nothing i can really do to stop it <coughs> because I don't want to put any traps here. The traps that I've got in the shed uh, haven't been sprung. It's not cold enough for them to come outside yet, but you can see they've had a whale of a time. So no doubt, see they've had a scrap round this one. Have they took the, oh no, they took it. They're trying to trick me. But this is the devastation that's gone on within 24 hours. They probably won't touch the big ones. That's why I chit everything. Uh, when I first took the allotment on six years ago, I did some peas in the polytunnel over winter. And as they started to grow, they grew beautifully, nice, three foot tall. And then I noticed that the pea pods were disappearing. And they're actually climbing up the plant, nibbling the pea pods off, dropping on the floor, and then they hid them. They're little rascals. So I just thought I'd share, you, share that with you. Um, it's something that I do have to deal with and not happy about it. We have to share, the mice need to live as well. But uh, I do my best to try and stop them from taking the, uh, the beans and peas the seeds anyway in the ground they know they're there because uh, they haven't actually dug any little holes to look for them they can actually smell them out it's like the rats when we fill the underground worm farms up they knew i'd fed that one that one and that one because i rotate how i feed them so the worms travel in different directions and they dug everyone up but they couldn't get in if you haven't seen an underground worm farm, there it is. I use a bit of cardboard, a bit of wood on the back, because the cardboard does, you know, uh, does uh, rot down. And uh, I've reluctantly not fed the worms because I didn't want the rats digging all this up. They've had a good meal anyway. Nice to get some of the beds uh, cleared up. This is the uh, celery experiment. 
Babette, who's in the garden, said leave some uh, over the winter. They go less stringy and bulk out a bit more, get them before they go to seed, but they look a little bit uh, either frosted or wind scorched. So I did have to try by planting the seeds that uh, uh, didn't germinate uh, as quickly as the others but you can see here that my 50% leaf mould mix and 50% wood chip mix makes an ideal starter for the, um, the bean family and pea family and using the kitchen rolls gives the roots plenty of uh, room uh, to grow. Happy gardening to you all. Till next time, my friends. Try for now.